So I've been asked many times whether you can use acrylic ink and it's really quite thin in resin and I 100% said I'm not sure. So I thought I would test it out today. The acrylic ink that I've got comes in a lovely and it's fluorescent as well lovely range of colors and it's the really the cheapest one that I could find because I don't want to spend a lot of money out if it's not going to work and also if it works with the cheapest ones lovely I'm going to be using the J Diction 3 times UV protect resin today because it's an ideal consistency for me and I'm going to make it in coasters so you'll have to wait and see what experiments I'm actually doing but hopefully it'll work so the first one I'm going to do is where I prepare it by putting a bit of this ink in the bottom of the coaster. Now I have no idea how this is going to work and I have also absolutely no idea if it's going to even sit on the silicon. And all I'm doing is putting some colours in this randomly like this. And now what I'm going to do is move those around a little bit on here and it is being repelled by this silicon. I'm not surprised at all. And now from the bottom up, I'm going to pour in my resin and then just bring this through it. This one looks like it's just gone really muddy, but we'll have a look at it once it's cured. But we, we might come out all right. So put that to one side. And the next one I'm going to do is I'm putting some resin in there first. If you want to know where I got this lovely big jug from, I'll link it below. It's in my resin starter kit. And for this one, I'm going to try and use oranges, reds and yellows and all I'm going to do with this is pour this on the top and then leave it and see what happens to that and this one I'm going to use the sinker for. Now, I don't know if the sinker is going to make any difference to this whatsoever. We'll soon find out. I'm just going to keep adding the colours to it. It certainly does seem as if it's doing something so I'm going to move that to one side like that. Now this one just has gone an absolute muddy mess so that doesn't work by doing that there is no doubt about it what i'm going to do is take that out get rid of that clean it out and then do something slightly different that i want to try anyway and if you've got a sticky mess in your coaster like that or anything where it's not cured properly or you've made a mistake then what i use are these big wipes they are brilliant at cleaning out coasters that's all nice and clean now i'm gonna dab that dry i'm not gonna rub it because i don't want to take the shine off the mold and then i'm gonna put the rest of this resin now there isn't that much to be honest there should be enough to do what i want to try into there and now what i'm going to do is let that sit for about 10 minutes before i do the next thing and i'll show you what i'm going to do there so that's now been sitting and i've mixed up some fresh resin and popped in these little pots and what i'm going to do is add some of this color to this now i'm going to add them one at a time and then give it a good mix round and then i'm going to add it to the coaster and i'm going to take one of these this more like the spoon end of this silicon thing and these come in the kit as well so if you want to get hold of these you can and then i'm going to move that up and down and around give that end a bit of a clean and then just pop a bit more in and then i'm going to go ahead with the different colors and keep doing the same and then once i've put all those in i'll show you what that looks like and then we'll let them all cure up now, there is definitely water in this because there is a slight reaction. It kind of makes it go a little bit gloopy as you're mixing it in. But that doesn't mean it's not going to cure and that doesn't mean it's not going to give you a great effect. But it also doesn't mean that it is going to give you a great effect and it may turn into a load of... Bleh. We can only see, at least we'll know then. Big thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. I really do appreciate your membership and I hope you're enjoying it as much as, to be honest, myself and all the experts and all the people that talk to me are saying they're enjoying it. It's the safest, most friendly group on Facebook, I'm sure it is. Also, a massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. Honestly, it's you people that, oh, you make me feel so good. And you really do make me feel rewarded. Every coffee really does help me think, ah, these trolls that haunt my videos are not worth the typewriters they're typing on or the computers they're typing on. So thank you so much. If you'd like to get me a coffee just to say thank you for any of my videos or anything that I do, 
then the link for that is also in the description below. So that's now finished or it's ready to cure up. I have no idea what's going to happen to it, but at least we will have tested this out. So keep watching to find out what happens. Well, these have all cured now. I let them cure overnight and I'm quite interested to see. That one's got a really weird effect on the top. I don't know how it's come out as a coaster. Yeah, it's not really done nothing. It has cured. It's fully cured. But it really hasn't done anything much by just sitting on the top. It hasn't sunk into the resin and the colours have all merged. This one has gone really weird. It's like a little landscape on there, but in an odd colour. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, again, it's not really done much because it has just sat on the top. It's, it has come through a little bit. I don't mind it. But it hasn't really drawn any of that colour through using the sinker. So I would say those two, not a great success. So, so far, not a great success. And certainly the first one we did was not a great success with using acrylic ink in resin. This coaster mould has got to be chucked away now, I'm afraid. It's just got past the point of no return. And actually, that one, I think, has come out okay. It's quite pretty. I wouldn't say it's the best. But it has stayed in there and it has cured up really hard. It is certainly not as nice as the Let's Resin alcohol inks, I would say. But it is still quite pretty. Overall, I would say mm, acrylic inks best not used in resin. But let me know if you've had better luck with them or if you've done something completely different than I have. I'd love to know. I like to show when things work. I like to show things when don't work as well. If not, we just don't know, do we? Boot that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you check out the video that's coming up next as well. I think you'll like that experiment. But most of all, enjoy your resin. Bye.